What's up, heroes? Joe Smith here again. You know something that's been on Joe Smith's mind for quite some time, actually. And it's becoming really damn apparent recently. Oh. Why the fuck is it nobody can follow any fucking instructions anymore? George Floyd, Daniel Prue, Richard Jackson, so the Walker dude, which is in the news. These and several others. Um, ended up hurt or dead because they cannot follow instructions in English. Do people still speak English in this country? It's been going on longer than that, and it's, it's not a black thing either. It's probably more of a white thing than anything, it seems like, or at least in our experience here at the 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 landscape company in the in Joe Smith's Moore shop. Because we're trying to open up new locations and posting ads on Facebook. I can find people to be branch managers who pay between a hundred grand and three hundred grand a year. When only one percent of the jobs offered around here currently, or the available jobs that are open around here currently, pay more than forty grand a year. So we're talking about jobs that pay three to ten times what the average job around here pays. <coughs> but in the ads that we put on Facebook, uh, we don't got time to check all these Facebook pages a couple times a day or whatever. Just have all the emails go onto one computer. All the emails we got set up for the different businesses, they all download to one computer and if the computer's on, the email program is open, Outlook is open, automatically downloads them, automatically checks and downloads them once a minute. So we get emails, if someone sends us the email here, we get them right away. We get notified right away. We don't got time to go and check Twitter for replies. We don't got time to check uh, different Facebook pages for replies because they don't go to your main Facebook email, they go to the page Facebook email we found out after missing dozens and dozens of emails the last couple years. <coughs> or else you get like a message request or something and I don't even know if I use that on Facebook. We don't got time to check all these other websites and whatnot. To see if someone replied. All the ads say to send your resume to this email. In fact, anymore, we usually start the ads with please read the entire ad before replying and follow instructions in the ad on how to apply, or else your application will be rejected. Because We've had too many problems, too many complaints, because people mowed the wrong yard, because they couldn't follow instructions and the address on how to show up to the right yard, or their instructions were to go to this address and, and trim bushes only, don't mow, trim bushes only, or else their instructions were to... Uh, sharpen blade only on the mower and they change the oil too and then there's like well you weren't supposed to do that well do I still get paid for it? It's like no you weren't supposed to fucking do it it was in the work order contract you signed said you'll only be paid for the jobs that you do that are in the work order any extra work has to be authorized if you do extra work without authorization you will not be paid for it they signed that And they don't follow the instructions on the work orders, and they do the wrong stuff, or they go to the wrong address. 
And then they mow the yard for free. And then they call the cops on us because we're not paying them. It's like, oh, it's like if you're an Uber driver. You give someone a ride that didn't sign up through Uber, well, you get paid from them directly or else you don't get paid through Uber. You don't get paid for your mistakes. St. McDonald's, if you put cheese on it when they didn't want cheese, well, you still get paid, you make a new one there. But then you're only getting paid like $9 an hour, minimum wage, whatever. So it's like the store only had to pay you like 20 cents to 10 cents whatever to fix your mistake. But oh, here they're contractors. If they go to the wrong house, mow the wrong yard, they don't get paid. They pick up the wrong over passenger and drive the wrong over passenger, they don't get paid. You work for the Instacart or Grubhub or whatever and DoorDash, whatever they're called. You deliver the food to the wrong address, you don't get paid. Yeah, these low lives. Uh, Mostly been white people, of course, around here. Crack kids, probably. Or stoners. Got their brains all fried from that harmless marijuana. But they all think that, oh, we screwed up. We did something we weren't supposed to. We did something we weren't authorized to do. We done something that we were told we weren't going to get paid for. Now we're expecting to get paid, so let's call the cops. Of course, cops come out and say, well, that's civil matter, of course. And, uh, and of course, we tell them, well, we're not, no longer interested in doing business with that contractor. We let them trespass from the property. So then they get a trespass warning off them calling cops on us. And, and the cops tell them, well, if they think they have some sort of claim against us, they just have to go to court. And of course, no one ever has. Because they know they don't got a claim against us. We tell them, it's like, well, if you did mow the wrong address by accident, it's like, yeah, shit happened. So Joe Smith done it once or twice before. Now, uh, knock on the door and say, oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, sir, ma'am, whatever. I accidentally, I wasn't Pay attention, didn't pay attention to the street or the house number or whatever. Accidentally mowed yours and said the next door neighbor by mistake, but uh, of, of course there's no charge, nothing like that. Or, uh, just want to apologize, but if you like it, here's our, here's a business card or a flyer or a brochure or whatever. Uh, we'd love to get you signed up as a customer, but no, nobody... Nobody wants to do that. Oh, you're the, you're the owner of the company. You go do it. Right. Well, I can't mow the wrong fucking yard. But in our, our ads that we're posting on Facebook or Indeed or, or different places, we're saying don't reply on here, don't message us on here, we don't monitor this, we don't check messages on here. Uh, send a resume to this email address and then we've been including questions like, oh, why, why do you want to do this kind of work? How, how many years have you done it? Where are some references? Yeah, pictures. 
um, of stuff you've done. And no, they're, they're not emailing the resume or any of the information asked for to the email address. We keep getting, time and time again, think it's about... For every one that we actually get emailed to us with the information, it's like about 80 or more, 80 to 90, that we get reply to us on Facebook. So it's like two, like two to four percent actually follow instructions on how to apply for a job that pays $100,000 a year. You think $100,000 a year, they want to make $100,000 a year, they would pay a little bit more attention and make sure they read the fucking ad and follow instructions on how to apply. Because if you can't follow up instructions on how to apply, uh, you can't submit the correct information, that ad is their first work order. If they fail on that work order, how are they going to do anything else? Because it only gets harder from there. You can't submit the required information as for in the ad to the correct address. Then what can you do? That moron, like uh, sometime a couple weeks ago, I'm just seeing it like uh, in the last week or the weekend, but uh, he had. Uh, replied on Facebook like I'm interested if my name and where I work now or where I used to work or something they even know if he's currently working there or used to and only have one place listed and and like well we're not interested in little kids that are just starting out that especially those that can't read and follow the instructions we had in the ad in English. And he wrote back on that, it's like, well, I don't need that kind of attitude from your company. Thanks for being so fucking honest to me about how shitty your company is and this and that. I was a Apache pilot in the army. It's like, well, that don't mean you're not stupid. Some of the stupidest people Joe Smith ever met were in the army. It's like, well, you're a Apache pilot. God damn! I hope you didn't bomb the wrong targets. I hope you, I hope you didn't shoot the wrong addresses. I hope you didn't kill some friendlies, because you didn't follow the instructions that were given to you in English and went to the wrong address, like you just did when you applied to work at a lawn mowing company. So that kind, of, that kind of triggered that that moron a bit. It's like, why is it so, so goddamn hard? Half time, Joe Smith here goes and orders at a fast food place for that. They screw up, they forget something. Like Joe Smith is ordered through the app, you have the instructions printed out. Just gotta go through the list. You don't have to remember nothing. Go down the list and check the items off. How hard is that? It's certainly not a ten dollar an hour job. That's for damn sure. Only about three dollar an hour job. Yeah, here's the thing, the, those uh, select few applications that we do get 
I do follow the instructions in the ad. Mexican. So why is it the Mexicans can speak American and follow instructions in American, but Americans can't? No disrespect towards uh, Hispanics either on that. People keep bitching, well, we need to build a wall, they're coming here taking our jobs. Oh, they're only taking the jobs that you're not qualified to do. They're only taking the jobs that require following instructions in English. Stop tells you stop, you're under arrest. No, stop, stop, stop right now, stop right now. Do not continue walking towards the around your vehicle. Do not continue towards the driver's door. Do not open your driver's door. Stop right now, you're under arrest. Maybe you should follow the freaking instructions and so you won't get shot in your back six times or eight times, whatever it was. Of course, you got the, and most of these people, are pretty sure they're Democrats or they're leftists. So they're zombies, they're brainless, brain dead zombies, in one ear, out the other. That's why they can't comprehend or follow any instructions. I had their brains removed at birth and and a microchip put in that makes them do whatever Pelosi tells them to or something. But, but it's like, why the hell is it so goddamn hard for anyone to follow instructions in English in America nowadays? Joe Smith sign out.